Hello everyone, I'm back. Today we are building the steps as seen in the series One Day. Now obviously these steps exist beyond the series. Obviously they're like real real steps in the real world. And I believe they're called Venal Steps. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong or if they're not known by that, but that's what I think they are known by. And yeah, they're, they're in Edinburgh and they're really, really lovely... It's a really lovely viewpoint um, of Edinburgh Castle. And I just thought it'd be something nice to try and build on The Sims. Obviously, it's not perhaps the most kind of obvious thing to build on The Sims because it is the centrepiece and like the, the main reason for building this is literally the steps. So everything else is kind of like an afterthought. Well, not an afterthought, but you know what I mean? Like everything else comes along after it. So yeah. But um, before I start waffling, I will say, obviously I don't intend to like make any, you know, say any spoilers for the show or anything like that, but I will be talking about the show or making reference to the show. And if you haven't seen it yet and you want to watch it and you don't want spoilers or you just, for whatever reason, you don't, you know, like you don't want to hear about the show, then please don't continue watching. <laughs> because I will make reference to it and I don't want to spoil it for anyone you know I'm I don't want to and that's not my plan to like go on and on about the ins and outs of it but just in case I'm waffling and I end up saying something that is yeah a massive spoiler or whatever then yeah just come back once you've seen it Alrighty. but yeah so these steps are in the show one day so the series one day which um I feel like I'm a little bit late to the scene on I feel like it's been watched by a lot of people and I'm kind of a bit late to it but I yeah I just thought these steps would be super super cute idea to do in the sims and I thought we're better to build it than Brychester obviously the university world um which I mean it's kind of like gives more European vibes like it's a world in the sims that is much more European looking which kind of works obviously I mean this this build was, is never going to fit anywhere really like amazingly well because it's it's just going to be plonked somewhere because obviously it's a massive hill of steps and we can't really build anything like on a hill that looks natural like it's just kind of going to look a little bit odd but I felt like this was the perfect place to build it and especially because now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm using, I'm building on the lot where the library is and you might see when I'm like spinning around, but in the distance, you can actually see there is actually a castle, like a big castle, which I don't know, it just made me think, oh yeah, this is where we've got to build it because obviously one of the kind of main features of these steps is that you can see Edinburgh Castle, but like really, really well, because it's kind of like the bottom of the steps and obviously you towards the top of the steps you're kind of obviously you're at a higher vantage point to be able to see the castle but the castle is actually even higher still so it's kind of it was I do you know what I did when I started building this there was I did think about potentially making a lot where actually I built the castle as well because I really really wanted to be able to see the castle from the steps like you can in the real in real life but it just wasn't working and yeah, there was a little glimpse there. I don't know if you saw that. Like, it's down the main road. Like, you kind of, if you look down it, like, you might see it. But I, yeah, I, it just wasn't working. So I figured this this was the next best thing, really. Um, You can't see it, like I say, you can't see it in exactly the same way as you can in real life, but certain angles you can. And that's also why I built this lot not, like, the front of this lot is not the front of this actual lot, if that makes sense which I don't really like doing. It always feels a little bit unnatural to me, even though I know it, li it literally makes no difference to anybody, but apart from the gallery picture, <laughs> that's the one thing that it matters to. But anyway, we just we just ignore that. Um, But yeah, so this isn't actually the front of the lot. The front of the lot is kind of the, it faces then down towards the road, which would have been really, really lovely, I have to say, to have that at the bottom of the steps, because it would have felt like the hill just keeps going. But Actually, I made it face this way just because it's more likely, how, like you can see the castle that bit more, if that makes sense from this angle. It's the best angle for that, basically. 
and that was just really important to me you know I really felt like that was an important aspect of the build so yeah that's what we did and I know at the moment it's like not central to the lot and I've just it's just it's looking quite you know random but trust the process I will I will centralize it and I will try and make it look a little bit more natural obviously like I said it's not it's because of the way the build is it's always going to be a little bit strange and and obviously it's it's just like a steps that just end as well so we can't even I can't even have it that they just keep going like they would in real life and you know they turn into a road or whatever at the top of the hill but they do just end and yeah but it is really sweet what I ended up doing was obviously I don't know exactly in real life what these buildings are I've been looking at obviously reference images and going on google maps as well just to see like like what the kind of buildings look like roughly and I kind of I did them like kind of as best I could but some of the buildings are different like just slightly different just because of obviously like limitations of the sims and um, we can't make the exact shape of these buildings and some of the roof lines as well like they just it just doesn't exist in the sims so it's kind of like a some of them are like I say a little bit different but I try and do it as best I can and also it might be that it looks better a certain way in the sims sometimes I find a building in real life looks lovely it looks amazing but when you try and do it like that in the sims it just looks weird because it just doesn't come across in the same way so sometimes you have to build things differently otherwise it's just like Ugh. so yeah so it's just to kind of give the impression like I say I don't know exactly what's in these buildings I felt like most of the ones coming actually up the steps themselves are residential buildings so I do make all of them residential and this I actually make the lot itself um you know like the new residential rental lot type so you can live in whichever one you fancy there is I think there's a total of five units um because we have this there's the main house on the left here next to this kind of like what's going to be like a park area and then there's two cottages across from that another cottage and then there's actually I've made like a flat that the entrance is is on the front of the street if that makes sense now the front street from what I can see online is obviously it's it's like commercial retail type places and I just again I've just made ones that work in the sims obviously they're not exactly like what is there I've just given it like you know like a little street feel basically because like I said the main thing was I just really wanted the steps which I know aren't perfect but obviously you know sims and it's just nice as well like because of obviously having the platform tool we can actually do this now we can just make these like never-ending steps basically and it's just like quite cool but yeah so this area next to this first building or this first like residential building up the steps is a kind of kind of parky area now I was kind of looking at it online and I felt like it's it there is actually another building here but obviously we've come kind of come to the end of the lot so I didn't go on to build anything else beyond this so it just kind of ends here <laughs> but yes but I thought it'd be quite nice actually to just have the sort of like grassy greeny area and actually your sims can't use this space because I do end up changing the steps up to it into those the steps you get from get together I think it is which are kind of like broken steps which is just a decorative piece and mainly because obviously with that archway piece as well like your sims aren't really going to be able to get in there anyway so I figured I just do that just to make it look a little bit more different because I didn't want it to just always have the, like the same steps and because obviously it can get quite samey in The Sims that you just in real life you can make things look same, like everything's like all different and made of different brick and whereas in The Sims it can get a little bit samey especially with the stairs because I feel like there's not that many like stone stair options you know so yeah and you'll see as well like the steps the steps keep disappearing and reappearing because when I do certain things within the buildings because obviously we're working on multiple floors it's hard to tell it's actually what's really cool about this is quite hard to tell where one floor starts and one floor ends 
And what I mean by that is like, for example, the building, the brown building on the right at the front of the lot is only actually two floors, but I've put wi- like multiple windows in the top floor. So that's like the tall wall height, the second floor. So, but it looks like there's three floors in that building, which then means that the buildings next to it, like it, it helps to create like the illusion that obviously like these buildings are going up a hill and it's not that they're all built on the same floor because they're going up. Does that make sense? It's trying to make it look like there's different levels to each building rather than it just being like the same and the steps are just going up along it, if you know what I mean. I don't know. But I quite like that, that you can't, it's it's kind of like, I tried to make it feel as like natural as possible or like as kind of how it would be in real life as possible so that the buildings genuinely look like they're going, you know, it's going up the steps. It's not just kind of like the steps are going past it and the buildings are staying the same height as the building, the floor below. If that makes sense. But anyway, but yeah, you'll notice that the steps like disappear and reappear and I have to keep rebuilding them because yeah, like when I move like platforms and stuff, like it's very, they're very sensitive, very sensitive. So yeah, sometimes you, I will just leave them for a while because I'm just like fed up of having to redo them. So, but obviously in the end, the steps are all there. And the other thing actually, which took me a lot, well, that, and it does actually change is the lights that I use going up through the steps. Now I spent a long time looking through the debug menu for the lights that are actually in this world. You'll see around the streets here, which are basically similar to the light to the lampposts I've put now, but they don't have the flowers, which is what I really wanted because that's how it they are in real life and on the show. But I could not find them and I probably have just like scrolled past it multiple times and just not seen them because I'm sure they exist. But yeah, I just wanted a lamppost with just one light lantern piece and not flowers. But I just, I just couldn't find it. So in the end, I do change it to a lamppost which has like, I think it has a couple of light lantern lights. But it doesn't have the flowers so it feels a bit more like natural with the flowers. Which just, it was a bit much. It was just a bit like, hmm too much I leave them here at the front but up the steps it just felt like a bit too much you know but yeah so if you don't know these steps are they kind of they're in the first episode of the show and also the end and they feel like quite a moment I don't know if anyone's seen the show I this is the first kind of encounter I've had of one day because obviously it is also a book and also a, a film but I hadn't read it or like seen the film so I don't know how it compares to like other versions like I don't know if these steps I assume I'm assuming these steps are in all of the versions but I could like I don't know they might not be it might be chosen for the series I really don't know um but I assume they're in all of it but yeah they're kind of like I don't know it just feels like a big moment it's like a, a reference point that we keep going back to throughout the series as well so it just felt right to like, you know, give them a little moment. But I actually, um, my husband went on a stag do to Edinburgh last week and I said to him, I said, oh my gosh, because I knew he was going to be going to Edinburgh Castle, so this isn't too far away. And <laughs> I was really hoping that they would make their way over to these steps, you know, try and get a picture. And who knows, maybe he did because he's told me that they did go on some steps but didn't take a picture, so I guess we'll never know. <laughs> so, and he's not got, like, the best, you know, like, he wouldn't remember if these were them or not. Do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, like, I was, I was like, really excited for him to have seen it in real life. And I also imagine that a lot of people will be going to these steps now. I don't know, like, to take pictures and stuff. I don't know how, like... It's weird, you don't know how big something is. Like maybe it's just me who was like, oh my gosh, these steps are so lovely to look at. <laughs> maybe no one else cares. I really don't know. But I thought they were lovely, so I if I was going to Edinburgh, I would try and find them to go on them because they're really nice. And I also think because I'm assuming, like I said, that a lot of these buildings on these steps are residential, how lovely it would be to live on these steps. Like how what a nice, you know, like where your front door opens out to like how lovely is that I don't know just be really lovely so you'll see that I have used these like big 
wall pieces from the cottage pack I totally like had a mind blank I was going to call it the British pack and it's like that is not <laughs> that is not what it's called but the cottage pack which I don't know I've kind of like I said before it's like quite an unnatural thing to do in the sims when you make a hill it's like kind of and you don't want it to just look boxy obviously because obviously this is all just built on walls this is all just built on big rooms and I kind of want to hide that in some way but I didn't want to the other way I'd probably do it is kind of building up rocks to make it look like you know it's on like a rocky hill but that didn't feel right either like it didn't it felt a bit weird to do that here where it's so you know that it's not rocky if you know what I mean this felt like a more natural way to look like this is just kind of like I don't know up up these brick walls I don't know because <laughs> the shape of them are really nice you know like how they have the kind of that like curve so it really like looks like it's it kind of follows the line of going up the steps it's really cool um so it just felt like that was like a way to make it seem like a natural like progression up you know what I mean well I hope it works anyway but yeah so you'll see inside like when I've a flicking in and out of these buildings and moving the windows just how high the ceilings are in some of the rooms um but obviously once we've raised the platforms up actually some of these buildings start to not be that high it's really strange because we're so high up from like the base of that wall the the first floor wall height <laughs> we have to bring it all the way up so actually it's quite nice because I, I find it quite hard to build with the tallest wall height like it's just so tall especially if it's just like a house like it just feels too much so yeah it's quite good that actually although I've used it they're not actually that that tall because they're all up on a platform kind of thing and the other thing I should say actually um I don't know why I haven't said this sooner <laughs> is that I haven't actually so this video is just of basically the outside the exterior and the steps itself like I said because that was like what I wanted to build but in order to build the steps obviously I had to build all these buildings around it because that formed part of the steps if that makes sense so this video is of the exterior and also the sort of interiors of the little commercial lots at the front but I don't have any of the residential lots in this video just because I didn't feel like it was like necessary I don't know that's not what this build is for but I felt like I didn't want to just do exterior because it's like quite a lot of exterior that I thought I'd just include the commercial lots because they make up as well like that kind of front if you know what I mean they're kind of like the windows and stuff I felt like they needed to be filled and shown them be filled whereas the houses you can't really see in them anyway but obviously I have filled them um the two cottages that have like the big gardens in the front are actually kind of like just kitchen and bathroom it's all like wallpapered and floored and everything I just feel like they've been renovated and they can be bought or like rented by your sims just like without furniture in if that makes sense you can fill it how you want but all the rest are fully furnished in that sense but at the end of this video there are so many <laughs> screenshots I have put screenshots of everything so if you do want to see and I do have the foot I like I, I have the footage of the inside and the interior so if you do if you want to see that let me know but I just didn't feel like it was completely it's just not what this build was about you know but I do like I said all the screenshots are at the end if you do want to see inside and obviously this build will be on the gallery as well if you do want to download it so you can have a good look nosy as well on that but yeah now this pink house I'm going to call it um was probably one of the tricky was the trickiest one just because kind of looking at images of it it's it was it was kind of straight hard to work out how you got into this house I'll be honest um I saw one door but it almost um I think it had like steps down into where this like garden area is for this cottage on the right if that makes sense they kind of share that space um and I wasn't too I wanted it to be more separated I wanted them to have their own space so I kind of just went with putting the door where I put it I think the door is actually like more central so that one is a little bit different just because 
it just wasn't like that easy to do in the sims basically to replicate that house as well because that house has windows in the roof as well like in the not like dormers but literally in the roof like skylight windows so and again i wish you could do that in the sims it'd be so cool if we had those in the sims like just little little windows that you could just like plop into the roof like they didn't even need to be like functional purely for aesthetics of the outside you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, so that house is a little bit different, but I do like how it's facing the other way to all the other houses. I don't know, it's kind of, it just gives something different, you know, rather than them all being facing onto the steps, like it's fronts that way. And then it also has a little garden, which is quite nice out the back. I could have made back gardens for these lots, for these, like, well, like the individual lots, because there was the space a little bit, but I just felt like, I kind of just wanted it, the actual like hill part if that makes sense I wanted to keep it quite compact because I didn't want it to be like sprawling too much and yeah just kind of keep it like a neat kind of rectangle rectangly square type shape you know what I mean so yeah so this kind of fitted nicely you know but yeah so this is like I say this is just going to be mainly the exteriors and then the interiors at the front which yeah I hope that's okay but I think it works because I think this is kind of like the build is the exterior basically which is it's unusual right I feel like most of the time on the sims like you are building I mean obviously you build the exterior but you also build an interior to your building whereas this is almost like a building outside <laughs> basically and I actually I was building this and um I was talking to my mum at the same time and I and I was talking to her about the show actually because she like she loves a book so I thought there was a like a high probability that she's probably read this book and she has <laughs> and I said to her well why don't we watch the series together we could watch the series together and she was like no 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 I can't I can't it's too sad it's too sad so there we are she won't watch anything of it or read anything of it again it's too sad for her so there we are that's that's her verdict but yeah it's quite emotional I feel like <laughs> I really um felt that as well in the little intro I made I when I was picking music for it I just felt like <laughs> we've got to pick something that's like a little bit like you know sad vibes I felt like the music in it is obviously so strong as well and yeah I just felt like I needed something that was like a bit sad like it felt like a bit emotional you know but <laughs> so I'm sorry if <laughs> If it was like not what you're expecting when you first click on the video <laughs> but yeah it's like a little bit, a bit emotional you know and I'll tell you what the one annoying thing about building like on a floor like walled floor rather than the ground is not being able to terrain paint it's so annoying like obviously it's amazing we have grass floor <laughs> like tile and we also have soil floor tile which really helps because it really looks like it could be grass and things also you can put loads of plants on it but not being able to like terrain paint around the plants is like really yeah it's really sad <laughs> it's not that sad but like I don't know it's just so obviously with the flooring it's so rigid it's like it's grass or soil like it's just grass or soil it can't just be like a bit of a like mix you know and obviously you can do like the little diagonal pieces to create slightly different shaping, but it's just too all or nothing, you know? There's no like merging. So yeah, that is the only downside to building like this. But it had to be done. I couldn't do this like terraining, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> you see what I mean? I just keep having to do these steps. I think a lot of the time I just kind of cut it out or leave it for a really really long time <laughs> before I have to do anything about them but yeah I don't know how many times I had to go back and change those steps it was yeah a little bit annoying so I put road like road on either side of this build on like either side of the lot which I know doesn't make complete sense but I, I can't not fill the lot so and this just made the most sense obviously in real life the road is actually in front of the street so like the street like shops and things that like that way so 
obviously the roads wouldn't be there but that's this is just the way it's fallen and also obviously it's a little bit strange because there's like literally a road like a sims road right next to it but you know i'm taking this lot not really like it's not really meant to be where it is do you know what i mean like it's it's built where it is because of where the castle is and obviously the world so yeah that doesn't make too much sense but you know neither does steps appearing in the middle of nowhere do you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah so this first building is i'm making it into like a restaurant it's kind of like it's giving me like bistro vibes like i don't know i've not really made a restaurant like this before it's very it's quite formal you know like not not crazy crazy formal but it's not normally i don't know i find like when i make restaurants i make them quite fun or like very heavily themed so I wanted to just make one that was just kind of quite like say generic but you know what I mean like just yeah kind of generic vibes <laughs> so it was quite fun as well to be honest using like flooring and like items that I wouldn't really normally use because those I end up using the tables with like tablecloths on which I never like literally never ever ever use because they just feel so heavy like I don't know just it's hard to fit them anywhere I mean they give me they're like proper like wedding table vibes I'll give them that but other than that I I don't think I've ever used them but I don't know I just felt like well you know it's good it's always good to use different items as I say and using the like booth chairs because again I like never use those booths especially in that way like maybe in like I don't know but like this is like it's like a very I can imagine it I can imagine what this restaurant would be like inside although it's not somewhere I'd probably go myself but I can imagine it you know I have to say like looking at this now probably should have made this a pub probably would have made a bit more sense um but there we are it's it's a restaurant now so this lot can be used how you want. I've set it up as a residential rental lot type. Just because I feel like it would be somewhere nice to play, to live in. Because obviously if you live in one of the units, all these, like this like restaurant and all the like shops are still, like all the furniture and everything is there. Obviously it wouldn't be a functioning restaurant, but you know, you could hire a chef and stuff and you could get them to cook your food and you could pretend it's a restaurant, that kind of thing. You could, and or like I said, you could not have it as a residential rental lot. You could have it as a retail lot, a restaurant, because the other two, like, commercial lots that we'll, you'll see in a minute are, one is like a bubble tea and one is, it's like a clothes store. So, yeah, you could have it as set up as any of those. Obviously, with the bubble tea, it probably wouldn't, it's not going to work as a bubble tea fully functional type lot, just because you have to make it with a thrift store, don't you? I think so. Obviously, I didn't make a thrift store, but you could add a few bits in if you wanted to. Or, you know, you could have it as a retail lot, but then live in the space above, because that's what I've always done. Like, if I've ever played with a retail lot, I always, I always end up making them like a flat up above it. Because it's always the faff going like backwards and forwards from your home back to the retail lot. So I always end up just like living on the retail lot basically. So you could do that too. And do whatever you want. So this is this is like a really thin building. It wasn't meant to be this thing. It's just kind of how it ended up. Because I really wanted the garden space behind it. Because there was definitely some greenery here. And yeah, it just meant that this, I don't know, it's just, it's just the way it's fallen. <laughs> it's kind of got quite thin. <laughs> But yeah, so there's a clothes store in this one and then bubble tea next door. And then you'll see some stairs in the middle and that is the entrance to the flat, basically. So there's a flat above it. And then that flat has steps down into the garden. So they've got a really big garden for like the size of the flat. <laughs> but that's quite nice, I suppose. You can always change it as well, I guess. But yeah, so this is just like quite a... I don't know, it's kind of boutique-y. I really liked using that wallpaper it's so bold like it's just so and it's just so pink as well like pinky green I just felt like it fitted quite well for like a kind of boutique clothes shop and I do dress the mannequins which you'll see in the screenshots as well it's always funny isn't it like when you first put them down that they're just 
not dressed. I feel like there could easily be an option for them, like, to have just, like, a generic dressed one. I guess what's quite good is, obviously, when you go in live mode, the Sims can kind of change it. You can change it to whatever you want. But it'd be nice if there was, like, an actual option to just put one down that was, like, dressed. Which then you could still change. But it's just, like, I don't know, it just feels a bit... (laughs) like the store just having those there it just feels a bit like i don't know just looks better when they're clothed basically just it just it just makes it a bit more feels a little bit more real just a little bit and then this is the bubble tea which is a really really pink i have to say when i was looking at google maps it does look like there is some kind of like quite like poppy cafe here i think if i remember right so i kind of did want to keep to that because i thought that would be quite fun space for like because obviously this is we go back to the series a university city and these are at the time like you know university students who would be like you know going to places like this probably and like hanging out in places like this which is why it's making me think like i should have made a pub really and not a bistro restaurant but hey it's somewhere where they can take each other for drinks that's for sure but yeah so i just still wanted this to be quite fun and I quite like it actually, it's quite sweet. <laughs> be cute to make it actually like into, you know, like making this in a version of an actual bubble tea locked with the thrift store and everything, rather than just like for this build, if you know what I mean. But yes, yeah, so we have come to the end. And like I said, I've got lots and lots of screenshots. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.